Alright guys, back with another video for you today, and as I had discussed in a video yesterday of my top 20 delicious fragrances, uh, I am doing a series of videos on the house of Maison Tahite. It's a sister house of Laboratorio Olfativo, and they have currently three collections of fragrances of gourmand uh, scents. So they've got a vanilla, they've got a cacao, and then they have a coffee. And since we are getting close to Valentine's Day, I thought I'd go ahead and start doing the collection of fragrances of uh, cacao. So today I've got five cacao fragrances to discuss with you from the house of Maison Tahite. And these are now selling at Ministry of Scent here in San Francisco. Thankfully they have them finally, as I've been asking them to carry this line, especially since they already carry Laboratorio Olfativo and it's a sister house. Anyway, we're going to break down the five different fragrances and I'm going to talk to you about them in a ranked list. So least favorite to most favorite. So least favorite at five, most favorite at number one. You're going to find out all about them coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, today we're talking about Maison Tahite fragrances. Let me show you the bottles. This is what it looks like. They look like little uh, apothecary kind of bottles, maybe laboratory-like bottles or fun bottles. And the cool thing about these fragrances, they're not that expensive. They're $120 here in the States. Uh, and in, in, in the EU, they are definitely under 100, 100 uh, euros. So I would have been able to feature it in a video like I did yesterday. But they are a little more than 100, but that's definitely a great price for really delicious gourmand fragrances. And these fragrances do not necessarily all go gourmand. Like there's one that's really full on gourmand, but the, the rest of them, even though they utilize chocolate or mostly cacao, they go in different directions. There's some floral, some kind of beachy and uh, ambery and things like that. So they're really beautiful fragrances, really nicely done with uh, three different perfumers uh, uh, out of the five fragrances. One thing I should let you know, since these are now being carried at uh, Ministry of Scent here locally, they have set up a cu coupon code for me. So if you decide to buy one of these fragrances today or any other day, use the discount code Sebastian. 6 and add six samples to your cart. Check out with the discount code Sebastian6. It's not really a discount code. It basically gives you six different samples of any fragrances in the store, Ministry of Scents. So keep using that uh, code uh, if you guys uh, shop there or not. But let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to start with is uh, Cacao 2 or Cacao Cacao. This is the most gourmand in the collection and sadly it's ended up at the bottom. And even though I really, really love the way this particular fragrance is working, for me, I felt the cinnamon, there's cinnamon here, is a bit overpowering and kind of gets in the way of the cocoa or cacao note or the chocolatiness. So it kind of reminds me of that kind of Mexican hot chocolate with lots of spice in it, but this, in, in this case it's cinnamon. So it's kind of in that ballpark of a very spicy cocoa or chocolate or cacao. But I felt like the cinnamon was just a little overwhelming. But it's, as I said, $120 for 100 ml. This particular fragrance is created by David Marut. I think that's how you say his name. And it features notes of cocoa, cinnamon, vanilla, labdanum, vetiver, cedar, amber, ambery notes, and benzoin. So as you you can see it's cocoa and lots of cinnamon. There's definitely vanillic touches here. It becomes vanillic and it becomes a gourmand and ambery fragrance with woody dry down. It becomes woody when it's drying down but for me I felt like that cinnamon was uh, really kind of like competing with the cocoa and what I wanted was cocoa more than cinnamon so I felt like the cinnamon could have been toned down a little bit and that's why I'm ranking this one at the very bottom sadly and it's the most gourmand of the whole collection uh, but Eventually, the cinnamon does go away, and it you know you're left with a very spicy, chocolatey cocoa. But I just felt like that cinnamon just really got in the way for me. And I love cinnamon in general. Really enjoy hot, spicy, warm fragrances with cinnamon as a note. But just felt like that cinnamon was overpowering in this particular fragrance for me. So this is the first fragrance. It's cacao two or uh, cacao cacao I should say. Maison Tahite is the brand, and that's the first fragrance I'm talking about today at number five. All right, up next at number four, we are going to the fragrance cacao in the sun. This one right here. Once again, $120 for 100 ml. These are all Eau de Parfum concentration fragrances. I think I forgot to mention that, but they are definitely concentrated uh, with the concentration. And of course, this particular fragrance is created by Lucien Ferrero. Uh, 
kind of an older uh, perfumer that's been around for a while. He's created some really great fragrances. But this fragrance features notes of chocolate, black currant, vanilla, iris, orange blossom, rose, musk, woody accord, raspberry, lemon, and sandalwood. A lot of stuff happening with this one. It does get fruity. For me, the whole na the, the name of the fragrance, Cacao in the Sun, totally takes me or transports me into a sunny setting, more like a beach setting, because this particular fragrance does have some beachy vibes going for it. So in the end, it's not uber chocolatey, but you are left with chocolate. There's definitely the, the idea of chocolate or cacao here. You smell it, but there are so much other things happening with this particular fragrance that uh, you're kind of left with a kind of a fruitiness, a floral touch, definitely muskiness. Eventually it does dry down to woods for sure, but there's powdery elements and of course um, vanillic touches as well. So this one's definitely not a full-on gourmand, but I get a beachy vibe from it. And the name totally explains it. When I saw Cacao in the Sun, I totally thought to myself, this is going to go into a kind of like a solar kind of beachy direction and it definitely does. Even though I don't see any kind of a note listed here that kind of um, alludes to that, I feel like for me it transports me to maybe kind of a tropical destination where I'm not smelling too many tropical things, but I have this kind of a beachy kind of a smell around me uh, with some chocolate. So that's uh, Cacao in the Sun from Maison Tahite. That's the number four fragrance. So up next, going to the fragrance Carnal Cacao, this one right here. So this is, once again, 120, 100ml EDP. This perfumer for this one is Paul Guerlain. Notes includes Tunisian Neroli, Indian Tuberose, Cocoa, Mandarin Orange, Pink Pepper, Ambroxan, and Mosses. So everything after three down to number one is gonna get really, really good, really, really delicious. And once again, we don't have a full-on gourmand here, definitely not a gourmand. It uses the uh, cocoa note in here to give you like a chocolatey cocoa effect. But for me, this is once again a sunshine in a bottle. So lots of Tunisian Neroli and Indian tuberose are basically what's running the show here. So it's a very floral fragrance. And I like the fusion of the Neroli with the Indian tuberose. I think they complement with one another really, really beautifully in that, you know, you've got this kind of a uplifting and happy, bright, sunshiny, you know, white floral fragrance but then you've thrown in this cocoa note in here to give it a really unique twist. And it really, really works here as this kind of like a creamy chocolatey layer to the Neroli and the Indian tuberose or the tuberose note in here to create for a kind of a citrusy floral cocoa mix. And then you've got some spices in here, lightly spicy, and of course the juicy mandarin orange comes in here as well. It's a very, very beautiful fragrance, really beautiful. And then of course, I believe they have that embroxin and moss in here, the mosses note to kind of like um, prolong the life of the fragrance to give it some strength in the base uh, because we're using these kind of fragile notes like neroli and tuberose and uh, boy this is a really delicious fragrance really works wonderfully I think but I do enjoy the other fragrances just a little more uh, but I, I could see myself wearing this one in the summertime where I want kind of a fresh floral experience with some citruses, but also some depth to it, like with the cocoa and the spices and the ambroxan and mosses. This is really delicious. So this is Carnal Cacao, and I really like that name for this fragrance. So up next at number two, we've gone through five to three, and this is number two. We've got Vicious Cacao here. Once again, $120 for 100 ml. This particular fragrance is created by Luca Maffei. This is Cacao Absolute or Cocoa Absolute with salted caramel, benzoin, rum, saffron, amber, narcissus, raspberry, rose pepper, sandalwood, and oak moss. This fragrance is uber complex. There's a lot of complexity with this particular fragrance, and there's a lot going on with this particular fragrance. In the end, for me, this particular fragrance is definitely the amber cocoa or cacao fragrance. So lots of very ambery touches, and I feel like this uh, benzoin and also the salted caramel creates for ambery base. Uh, there's a bit of leather thrown in, and that saltiness also from that um, caramel note is a uh, kind of a unique twist. It almost kind of like tones down the, the sweetness when you throw in that kind of salt thing in there. But there's a bit of booziness here, a bit leather for sure, lots of amber, and then there's fruits and spices that come in and 
eventually it gets woody. And this is really, really delicious. Once again, this one is not uber gourmand, but uh, I think this one's getting close to the gourmand. Like, like for example, the cacao two or cacao cacao uh, is all gourmand here. We're not quite there yet, but we're almost there with some of the notes that are in here, uh, especially with the fact that we've got that salted caramel and the cocoa absolute in the fragrance. This is a wonderful fragrance, deserves to be on the second spot, but I had a bit of a challenging time. I almost put um, carnal cacao at number two, but for me, my favorite kind of fragrances are more ambery fragrances, more gourmand fragrances. So that's why I put Vicious Cacao at number two. So that is Vicious Cacao at number two. And my favorite fragrance from the Maison Tahite Cacao Collection is Cacao Libertine, this one right here. Those of you guys that know uh, this collection and my taste, do you understand why I like this one? Let me know, put some comments down so I can find out. So it's interesting. So we started off the list with David Marut uh, fragrance, uh, the Cacao Cacao or Cacao 2. And then we're ending the list at number one with uh, Cacao Libertine. So I have, he's created two fragrances in the collection and I, I like one of his fragrances the most and one of his fragrances the least. This to me is really a magical fragrance. It's got loads of cocoa, with patchouli, caramel, cardamom, vanilla, benzoin, rose, bergamot, mandarin orange. This is super delicious and it's the cocoa and the patchouli together, match made in heaven. So if you catch my videos and I talk about chocolate cakey patchouli, this does not act like that. This is ca cocoa uh, and not necessarily chocolate, but then again, when I talk about the chocolate cakiness effect that I get from patchouli, it's because they combine it with ambers, resins, and vanilla, things like that. Here, it's definitely cocoa with patchouli and there's that whole caramel that comes in here. So there's a gooiness about it, but it's not necessarily giving me the chocolate cakey effect. Definitely wears differently, but a really, really beautiful combination of notes. Chocolate, cocoa, patchouli together really work wonderfully. So there's definitely some spice in here for sure. And of course the vanillic touches come in to the cacao libertine as well. But what I really like about this is the rose and um, the idea of the citruses that come in to give me a very kind of a unique gourmand fragrance. It's a gourmand with lots of patchouli and a bit of a rose uh, twist to the, the fragrance as well. And that's what I like about this one. So th once again, this is not a full on gourmand. I would call this something within the idea of something like Angel, right? The, the Mugler's Angel. I'm not saying they smell identical, whereas for me, Angel is a gourmand in the end, but it's not necessarily like you're, you know, swimming in a, a sea of uh, food, like desserts and things like that. There's all kinds of other things happening here. This is definitely like that kind of uh, a fragrance where you've got the idea of a gourmand, but there's a lot more happening. For me, I felt like, as I said, Cacao 2 or Cacao Cacao is the most gourmand in the the collection but for me my favorite is cacao libertine at number one so those are my thoughts on this series of fragrances from Maison Tahite, the cacao collection of fragrances. Are you familiar with this collection of fragrances? Have you sampled some of these fragrances and do you have a favorite? And now that you've heard about them and you didn't know about them in the past, which one sounds the best to you? Which fragrance uh, after I spoke about it? Because I know some of you have similar tastes to me and some don't. Uh, so I'd like to find out if you're really interested in uh, the first fragrance, Cacao Libertine, or if you're more into the idea of, uh, let's say, this one, Carnal Cacao, or any of the others that I discussed today. Let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. So moving on to the giveaway. Did I mention a giveaway at the beginning? We do have a giveaway, I'm so sorry if I didn't. But the giveaway is that we have a sample set of every single fragrance in the Maison Tahite collection, meaning the fragrances that are in the Cacao collection here, so five samples, and then there's also the vanilla, there's five vanilla fragrances, and and then there's four coffee fragrances. So the winner of this giveaway will get 14 samples, the entire collection of fragrances from Maison Tahite. One winner of uh, the sample set from the USA. This is sponsored by Ministry of Scent. It's a USA website. They are sponsoring the giveaway. They do not do business outside of the USA, so they cannot uh, sponsor a giveaway outside of the USA. So to participate in the giveaway, put down which fragrance sounds the best to you, what you liked about this video, 
and your state. Uh, please make sure you put your state and you are subscribed to the channel. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on this collection and uh, see what you think about them if you get to sample them. And don't forget to check out uh, Ministry of Scent where the fragrances are, are sold. And don't forget to take advantage of that uh, discount code, which is uh, Sebastian6. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.